So I had a couple requests on uh, how to set up and use Magic Lantern on the 7D to record uh, the full 2K resolution in RAW. So this is just going to be a quick walkthrough on the settings I've been using. And so they seem to be working pretty good as far as results go for the 2K. And I haven't had any errors or pink frames or anything like that, really. So here we have the 7D. And so I'll show you, I'm just using this card right here. It's the Lexar 32 gigabyte thousand card. And I don't think you can actually buy this card anymore. I believe it was replaced by a newer model, um, which should be theoretically better. Uh, I've heard not to go bigger than 64 gigabytes. And this card right here, when you're recording regular 10, uh, just under 1080, raw it gets about seven minutes but when you go up to 2k you are limited to about uh, four to five minutes of video because the file sizes are so much bigger so we're going to put that in the camera and this already has magic lantern preloaded on it so everything's loaded and this assumes you've already formatted your camera to run magic lantern and so you're going to put that in and then you're going to turn your camera on and your camera should boot up just like normal. And I'll talk a little bit about the settings. So I'm on manual right here. And I'm using 150th at uh, F9. Uh, you really can just determine your uh, aperture by adjusting it once you have your shot set up. This is just basic, but I'm gonna be shooting at just under 24 frames per second. So I wanna make sure that my actual uh, shutter is so 150th to go along with the rule and so that's all set up beforehand and I'm actually going to change my white balance although it doesn't matter because you're shooting raw and you can change it after you've shot your footage to be uh, just fluorescent okay and okay so now if you want to actually go in and shoot right now you'd be shooting with just regular uh, video mode which you can see but if we switch over to video mode so I've got my subject it's all framed up and that would just be the regular Canon recording mode so if we go record you can see it goes record like normal and that's if you're just shooting H.264 and so if we stop that and now what you're going to do to get into the menu for Magic Lantern is you're going to push the trash or delete button on your camera and that's going to take you right into the Magic Lantern menu. It might show you the menu showing Welcome to Magic Lantern. This time it didn't. I find that normally if you reformat the card it'll give you the welcome menu. Um, you want to make sure you always reformat the card in the camera before shooting. I find it works a lot better if you do that in the camera and you start with a fresh card every time. Um, so we want to make sure that the raw module is enabled and should be right here. Raw record. We want to turn that on so we can record raw. So we're going to turn that on and it says it will load. And then that means that you're going to have to turn off the camera and turn it on again. So I'm just going to tap the shutter and it's going to go back to menu and then we can turn the camera off. So it's going to shut off and then we'll turn it back on. And now with the camera back on, you can see it has a frames per second override already. And we can go back into the Magic Liner menu and you can see that it loaded up raw record in there as well. And so these are the modules that I have loaded right now. You can take a look at those. I'm not using all of them, like dual ISO, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, but this is how I have it set up. And then if you navigate using your scroll wheel over to the video mode, you can see that we now have an option to set raw video up and we also have frames per second override. So you want to go into frames per second override and if you just push set, which is normally select, you're actually just going to turn on and off. So you need to push Q up here in the corner and that's going to take you into the actual menu where you can change the desired frames per second. And it might be set up to automatically be at a higher frame rate, but you want to turn it down from 24 to 23.976 that way it'll be able to shoot continuous 
and for 15 seconds, I've found. And then once you have that set up, you can go back to the other menu by pushing Q again. And now we're back out of that menu. And then you want to go down to the raw video options. And you're going to go into that mode. Again, if you push off on with select with set, it's just going to turn off or on. And we want it on. And you're going to go into Q again. And now we have the options to change the resolution and aspect ratio. So if you start with a normal aspect ratio, which is probably default setup, it would be 16 by 9. And you can look on here that it says that your max is going to be 1728 down here in the corner. And if you go in the menu and you try to go higher, which we already have it set pretty high, it'll tell you that the uh, amount you have selected for resolution is not available in the current video mode. But if you go down below, you can see it changes and goes away. So if we set it to the max, which is uh, 1728, it'll automatically default for a 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio. But we want to shoot in a bigger resolution. And in order to do that, we need to be in crop mode. So we have two options. Um, we need to change this so that it can shoot in a higher one. And you can see if you go up here, it says not available max is 1728. So we're going to go back out to the other menu and we're going to go back into raw video oops we're going to go back into raw video using the Q button sorry and then you're going to go to aspect ratio and you want to set the aspect ratio to the proper size so you can get uh, the full 2k resolution so I believe it's 2.39 to 1 so if we select that one and we go back into here and then we can go down and you notice it still says that the max is not possible and the reason it's saying that is because you're not in the five times uh, crop mode. So you need to go down, select something above what the max would be for 2K. And then you can go back out to your main menu. And you want to actually exit Magic, Magic Lantern. And now we're in shooting mode. And you're going to press the plus over here on the right hand side, which is going to take you normally into the focus assist or zoom. And that'll be one time and it'll take you into five times. And you can see we now have the ability to pan around the shot. And we want to just keep it right in the middle. I find that that's the best place to shoot with. Um, that's going to be actually part of your framing. So this is what you have to frame your shot on. It's not a lot, but that's what you have to use. Uh, and then so we're going to go from this mode, still leaving it on five times crop, push the trash can again, get back into the menu. And you can see that we now have a higher aspect ratio our, with our current aspect ratio, we now have a higher uh, frame size, and it lets us select 2496 by 1044. And that's how you get it to actually set up with that size frame. Otherwise, it won't let you go above the 1728. And so now if you go into Q, and we push select, or set, and then you go down, it won't let you go any higher than 2496, but you can use 2496, which is what we want. And so it sets that as the max. And so we can go out of that and you can see it's still there. And this basically means that we're all set up to shoot 2K. So now you can go back out of this by pushing your shutter. And you should now have everything set up to run as raw with that full resolution that you wanted. And now the only thing left to do is to set your exposure. So we're kind of underexposed. I'm shooting a dark subject on a lighter background. So I might want to bring that up. And I find it's more useful to adjust your exposure with it zoomed out in normal instead of in five times crop because it does kind of dim the image when you're in five times crop. And so now you can set your focus. If you need to change your focus, I like to leave it on auto. And that way I can just use the autofocus and set the focus. And then if I want to maybe lighten things up a little bit more, I can do that or leave it down. I'm going to go with one, about one stop overexposed. And so now you can see we're back into shooting at the five times cropped selection. Everything's set up. We've set our focus. We've, we've set our exposure. And we also have our white balance set. Again, which doesn't really matter because you're shooting raw. So now from this part, we can select record. And you're just going to use the regular start stop button for rec recording that you would with H264. And so you can see that the camera comes up in the corner and it starts counting up and it also has a read write rating right there so that's the current 
writing rate and it's going to record and there we go so it's stopped at 11 seconds and I find that you usually get between 11 and 15 seconds for recording I don't think I've got consistently below 10 seconds ever but it's always about 11 to 15 seconds and that may seem quick and short but 15 seconds is actually a pretty decent amount of time considering you're recording in 2k resolution and so we'll go ahead and push record one more time and you can see it comes back up with that and it's going to keep recording and it's going to count up and it'll basically count up until the buffer is full and once that happens the camera actually can't record anymore and so there that time we got 15 seconds and so it stopped at 15 seconds and then it'll process the image and it does take some time to process sometimes depending on if you've been recording a lot or not but once it's done processing it'll clear out and you'll be back to the screen with nothing on it and if you want to review your footage you can actually press play and it'll build the playlist and it'll show you what you shot and you can see that it's actually a lot wider than what we were shooting with on the five times crop or what we could see and that's because it's only showing you a portion of the full sensor that it's using or the area on the sensor that it's using and so this is actually playing back it's counting up the frames it usually plays a lot slower than real time but it at least is a way for you to review your footage and if you need to go back in and write down a description of each of your shots this is a great way to do it because otherwise you just have numbers and you have to match up your shots by going back through and then using raw to do dng and exporting the clips to figure out which one is which and then you can just press the shutter to get out of that and it reminds us that we're shooting on 23 point uh, below 24 frames per second and so now we want to do a little bit of a trial with some motion in our shot go back into crop mode and I'm just going to come around here and start recording and then we'll do like a rotation here maybe a little bit so we have some movement in there and then it'll stop recording And it got all the way up to 15 seconds that time. And so it stops and you wait for it to clear. And once it's cleared, you can then press play. And that'll let you review your footage that we have right there. And so for this shot, you can see that we actually had some motion instead of just a boring still shot. And so that's pretty much how I've been using the 7D to shoot 2K raw footage. And again, I'm getting about 11 to 15 seconds. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.